the power of protest and armed rebellion Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini was able to call upon helped him take control of Iran in 11 days. But consolidating the gains of the 1979 Islamic Revolution would take years. The new government struggled to suppress insurrections of its own and the economy all but collapsed. Revolutionaries have been jockeying for political position ever since. And Iranian people say their leaders have forgotten. Khomeini's revolution was actually about them. At a museum dedicated to Iran's first national bank, there is more wealth in a single display than many Iranians may see in a lifetime. A literal treasure trove filled with the precious things of past kings. Within these stately halls, there is great optimism about Iran's future. As always, problems are being imposed on Iran, such as sanctions or war, but the Islamic Republic, with its rich resources and suitable geography, can handle it well. I predict the economic future of the country will be positive. One of the reasons Iranians supported Khomeini was because the majority of the country's wealth was in the hands of the few, something that seems to be happening again. The revolution played out on streets all over the country, and once monuments to the strength of empire, buildings, city squares, statues, have since come to symbolize the power of the religious movement that saw them torn down. But as the years have gone by, many Iranians say the promises of prosperity that same movement made have not been kept. As often happens when there is economic decline, many say things were better in the past, in the time of kings. The problems we have had in the last two or three months are unprecedented. We were at war with Iraq for eight years and we didn't have this level of inflation and poverty. President Hassan Rouhani promised a lot, but he lied. Are we not the people who handled the war? Why do they do nothing for the people now? Once I was a religious person. I hated the Shah when we chanted slogans to say silencing Muslims was betraying the Quran. We believed in the Quran. But now I'm 65 years old. I don't believe in the Quran or mosques. I believe nothing because our Quran and mosques have been betrayed. They broke my heart. Government leaders say they're doing their best and blame American sanctions, as well as pointing to macroeconomic indicators that seem to show Iran is on track to be classified a highly developed country. It's a sign, they say, that things aren't as bad as they may seem. But the high cost of living means problems that are playing out inside people's homes is where Iranian leaders seem to be losing votes. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.